What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Torino Career Mode. This is episode number 55 and we start today's episode off with a use comment for reporters. We've now entered October so you can see how the players in our academy are doing. Gotta say some of these players look really really good indeed. A couple don't look too good and also Nunzio Saba did get his uh, contract terminated here but a few of those youth players look really really good and I'm excited to promote some of those possibly come the end of the season if none of them want to uh, terminate their contract or get offered a pro one before the end of uh, the season in May. But uh, also as well, uh, Immobile is now coming back from injury, which is great. Of course, he got injured in the Supercoppa in the first competitive game of the season against Juventus. So now he's coming back from injury, which is great. Not going to be ready just yet. He'll still have the plaster next to his name. But even so, great to know he's coming back to fitness. And I'm really, really pleased about that. Also, a squad report as well. So you can see how the players are currently doing in October. As you guys know, growth problems in this career mode are really, really common. So there are players in here you're looking at and wondering why they're not growing. I'm thinking the same thing. But sadly, that's just how it is. But even so, I'm really impressed with Shalinolu. Already gone up by two ratings right now. And when we signed him, I believe he was 79 overall. Is that right? He's now 84 overall. So he's looking really, really good. And let's just say I'm very, very happy. I spent £15 million on our Turkish midfielder. Uh, still, we look at the league table. Uh, five games in, we're in second place in the Champions League as well. Uh, two games played, two wins. The perfect start. Top of the group with six points. So really, really pleased with that. And of course, our last game was a Champions League game. Well, we brushed aside and Etienne at the uh, Stadio Olimpico de Torino by four goals to nil. And we take on Livorno for the first game of today's episode here at the Stadio Olimpico de Torino as the 19th place come and take us on. So the second place team in the league uh, have the uh, second to bottom place team in the league come and visit them here in this game. As you can see with the team as well, there were quite a few changes uh, due to fitness reasons, obviously due to fitness reasons, and they're also just trying to rotate the squad, keep everyone happy as well. Our last league game was a win away against our rivals Juventus by three goals to two at the Juventus Stadium. So coming into this game, really fancying our chances of picking up another win. However, the away side actually had the first chance of the game here and almost took a surprise lead, but this header went way off target behind for a goal kick. So still 0-0. But in the 13th minute, we had the first chance of the game for us. Hakan Shalanolu finds Dybala down the right-hand side, takes it around his man, will click a little spin, gets himself inside to shoot here from a tight angle, but the goalkeeper makes a good save and it's cleared away. Only as far as Grenier, he flicks it up. Can't get a shot away though. Eventually he does and it's blocked. Comes back to him again he strikes it on the half volley but it's a simple save with the goalkeeper and court as well so still Torino nil, Livorno nil both sides having a couple of early chances early on and from the goalkeeper's kick out here Engels wins the ball in the air and it falls to Dybala our striker holds it up before finding Hakan Shalinolu takes it around his man with a fake shot and strikes it from range but the goalkeeper makes the save and eventually Livorno get the ball away so still goalless in this game but in the 35th minute another good chance for us here we had a free kick from a pretty tight angle I gave it to Hakan Shalinolu who ends up smashing the post that goes behind for a goal kick so still nil nil and Hakan only scored one free kick for us so far it was a beauty yes but only scored one free kick for us so far since coming in the start of last season so that's a bit of a disappointment but even so hopefully he'll score a second one this year uh, regardless in the 45th minute here a great chance to make it one nil but again the goalkeeper Campagna makes a really really good save and keeps it at nil nil so he was looking pretty good early on from the corner Shalinoli crossed the ball in he punches it away Benassi strikes it but it goes harmlessly over the bar and behind for a goal kick so still goal Goalless going into the second half. But three minutes after the restart here as Hakan gets on the ball for us. He plays it through towards Kamisa, one of our academy graduates. Fake shots around his man and finds Zardes down the left-hand side. Fake shots, uh, sorry, doesn't fake shots. Does the ball, ball roll, reverse step over. He finds Benassi. Benassi finds Grenier and Clement Grenier gets his first goal for the club and makes it Torino 1, Livorno 0. So he's not in the first team right now. We do play a 4-4-2 Diamond Central and I could play him ahead of Florenzi, which... I I suppose some people would think is a little better because Grenier is probably going to grow more than Florenzi will considering Florenzi seems to have his uh, potential and overall basically locked right now as he's only grown one rating since coming in at the start of the series but either way Grenier I don't know about him too much but even so that was a really nice finish and you know I, I wouldn't be against taking Florenzi out of the team even though I really do like him but either way we'll have to wait and see what happens Grenier does get his first goal for the club though and it is Torino 1 Livorno 0 but to be honest other than the one chance Livorno had right at the start of the game. It was all Torino, really, as you would expect. The start of the season for us has been really, really good. And Hakan Shalinolu as well. Well, I did say, you know, in this game that Hakan's only scored one free kick for us so far, but he's still a god when it comes down to long range shooting. And I just, I love this guy. Like, I really do. I mean, seriously, for £15 million at the time, it was, you know, it still is our most expensive transfer. And at the time, I was wondering whether I sort of overspent a little bit for a player who, you know, may not grow considering the growth 
with problems in his career mode and also may not be as good as I was thinking considering looking at his stats. But, you know, this guy from range, man, like seriously, I, I can't recall using a player like him, you know. The closest example I can think of was FIFA 11 Giovanni on Ultimate Team. Uh, maybe Giovanni was a little bit better, but even so, Hakan is certainly, uh, you know, not a lot worse than him. He's so good from range. He's now his second goal to Serie A this season, and he is just, like, seriously, if you if you play career mode and you want a midfielder to bang him in from range, I could not recommend this guy highly enough. He is so good when shooting from range. So Torino 2, Livorno 0. Hakan uh, getting our second goal of the game. Did 90th minute here, a good chance for Livorno to get themselves back in the game, and they would as well. It was a pretty routine goal for them to score, to be honest. They went down the left-hand side, quickly whipped in across, and it was a free volley in the centre for this guy who celebrated like he just scored the winning goal in the World Cup. He makes it Torino 2, Livorno 1, and celebrates uh, the uh, in the centre circle as he does get Livorno a lifeline back in this game. But even though they had reduced the deficit to just one goal, I still didn't fancy their chance of getting another goal because time was running out, and as you'll see, it did indeed run out on Livorno. So final score, Torino 2, Livorno one disappointed to lose Bernie's clean sheet in stoppage time and I have to say as well I don't know whether you guys are the same as me but I, I seem to concede loads more like 90th minute goals in this year's FIFA I don't know why exactly but it's crazy I've let in so many 90th minute goals in this game it's 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 crazy but uh, still we won the game by two goals to one that's the most important thing uh, Grenier was my player of the game we definitely deserved it as well Livorno did have a little bit more possession, uh, possession than us by 1% but I still felt as though we played a lot better as you would have seen by the shots and the shots on target as well and the game play too so glad to get another win notched up with Torino and we take on Roma for the second and final game of today's episode here as we travel to the Stadio Olimpico in a first versus second clash now with Juventus this season not too sure how they're going to do but Roma have got off to a very very impressive start right now so coming to this game really excited to play it but also really nervous as well feeling like we had to get ourselves the result in this match and the first chance would fall directly from kickoff as well as we pass the ball around and try and retain possession early on even though in quite a few games I do lose the possession battle at the end of 90 minutes for the most part I do really like to pass the ball around and get a feel for the game particularly early on right from kickoffs and the first chance would fall from the kickoff as well Roma didn't have a single touch of the ball when Dybala got played forward by Motta but unfortunately for us despite Ronaldo chopping around a defender the goalkeeper denied him and it was still goalless so still nil nil but from the corner Baselli whips the ball in towards Poloski in the center goes for the header it's cleared away comes to Alexandro who strikes it from range and it's not too far off as it did take a slight deflection as well but it did go behind for a corner so still Roma nil Torino nil in the 11th minute though a good chance for the home side to take the lead as Torresidis gets played down the right hand side here the fullback whips in across and you know I, I, I really do like Bernie I, I really do I'm I'm really glad you guys did decide to effectively sign him for me tell me about him and I, I took a gamble on him from you guys but I am glad that I did sign Bernie because it was a steal for a pre-contract on only five grand a week considering how good his overall is but he does make quite a few mistakes, you know. I think that's his second key one of the season already. And he's 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 a good goalkeeper, like a really good shot stopper and everything. Don't get me wrong, but he does make quite a few mistakes from time to time. And yes, I know all, goal, all goalkeepers make mistakes. And yes, I know of course that in this year's FIFA they seem to happen quite more often than, than in their previous FIFAs. But even so, I like my goalkeepers to be quite solid and quite consistent. You know, even if they, even if it means they're not as good as uh, some goalkeepers are, as long as they don't make too many mistakes. But Bernie's already made quite a few since coming in, and that was another one there. So Roma won Torino nil. Alexandro went close to equalising there but it was still 1-0 and Gabbiadini strike was also off target here in the 37th minute. So in the first half despite Roma leading going into the break we certainly had quite a few chances but it was 1-0 to the home side. Could have been 2-0 here as well. Viviani's header goes just wide and opposed them behind for a goal kick so still Roma were leading at the Stadio Olimpico. And in the 74th minute another good chance for Roma here. Kevin Stroman gets on the ball crosses the ball towards Giovinio. Alexandro heads the ball away but it comes back inside towards Ibarba who shoots but Bernie makes a really good save to make up for his error in the first half and keep it at 1-0. So good stop there by our goalkeeper and uh, Roma are still leading by just a one goal. But in the 83rd minute, Hakan goes down the right-hand side here and takes it around Holobaz. Gets himself inside to shoot. It's a good stop by the goalkeeper though and it is eventually cleared away by Jovino. So still Roma 1 at Torino 0 as he went in search of that equalising goal. But in stoppage time, Roma was still leading by, the go by a goal to nil. Looked as though the game was over but as Dybala gets the ball here from Zardes, he Berber spins around Yanga and Biwa 
and I am so glad I decided to sign this guy in the summer transfer window because it's another goal for Dybala. Already notched up quite a few in this Serie A so far and a really good finish as well. He didn't have too much stamina left in him once he got played the ball forward there. So I tried to take Yanger and Biwa towards the sort of uh, the corner of the area. Then Berber spin round him, try and set him on his heels and uh, get past him with Dybala with the pace. Did exactly that, one on one and a great finish too by the Argentine. So Roma won, Torino won, Dybala equalises in stoppage time and gets his sixth goal of Serie A so far. And it was also how the game would finish as well. The referee blew for full time pretty much straight after kickoff. So final score, Roma won, Torino won in a big, big, big match early on the season in the first versus second clash. Delighted to get a point. A loss would have been really, really crucial considering the head-to-head -head ruling in the Serie A format. And also, of course, watching Roma's good start to the season too. It would be a shame to know they would have beaten us and extended a further gap on us in the league. But even so, it was a draw. I felt as though we could have possibly nicked it with the stats we're showing there. But either way, I'm glad we got a point and didn't end in defeat but that does it in the episode guys so as always a big thank you for watching the video really hope you have enjoyed it if you enjoyed today's episode of my torino career mode then please do leave a like and i'll see you for the next episode very soon